All right, peace, blessings, enough, holy, plenty, a lot of love to all our global brand ambassadors, our kings and queens in the house, and those watching on YouTube or the various social media platforms. It has been a wonderful pleasure um, to be a part of this wonderful family um, that is here on D Dive April 4, 2024, the three fours clash. Wonderful. Um, and so we just want to welcome everyone, welcome one and all, welcome each and every one. And we thank you for making it deep dive, globally changing lives. Um, our theme song is rendered to us from our Queen Lerato Shadari from Germany, uh, international recording artist. And of course, um, the, the image or the video that is put together with that wonderful music video done by Lerato Shadari. Um, it is fortunately depicting, um, of course, in it to win it, and the vision to reality from Ash Mufari. And so take a look, and I hope it will or has and will inspire you all. So, without any further ado, we will turn to the theme song by Lerato Shadar.
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Uh, thank you very much to the Rata Shadari. Um, that was awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Okay. We want to uh, move right into our mindset, which is very, very important. Very important. And as you know, Deep Dive and Dream Team um, holds the mindset of tantamount importance, very important, uh, because we believe without the mindset in life, uh, because a, a lot of us think that the mindset is just indigenous to on passive, but I need to let you know that the mindset is not indigenous to on passive. The mindset is, in, is really about how you look at things, how, you, how your belief system works, um, whether it is positive, or negative, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it is based, it is based on a number of things in respective to where the mindset is concerned. So what really is the mindset? What really is it? The mindset is a set of sub subconscious thinking pattern that shape the way we perceive reality, or perceive things, or perceive our life, perceive how we live, perceive what we do and how we do it in life. Our beliefs and assumptions are what cause these thinking patterns. These beliefs and assumptions can influence our behavior in a positive or in a negative way. It really just depends on the mindset. For example, look at John. John studied very hard. He's a bright boy, very creative individual, but he struggles with self-doubt and a belief he isn't very bright, even though he does wear that school. But that is how he perceives himself. And so this is what is known as a fixed mindset. John's way of thinking prevents him from believing in himself and is ability to learn new skills. The opposite is a growth mindset. So you either have a fixed mindset or you have a growth mindset. Where individuals believe that they, they that their intelligence isn't fixed. From this perspective, Success comes from effort and learning from their mistakes. Because mistake will happen. Flaws will happen. So it's just how you view these mistakes and how you view these flaws. So, why is mindset important in life? Let us look at why mindset is important. And this has to do also with business. Mindset shapes how we respond to setback. And this is any setback, any type or form of setback, um, or a rocky relationship. And a relationship is not just a person 
looking for a life partner. Your relationship with your parents, your relationship with your siblings, your relationship with your relatives, your relationship with your co-worker, your relationship with your business partner, your relationship with your uh, neighbors, your relationship with people that you meet when you're walking on the street, when you're driving, road bridge. <laughs> it, it, it has to do everything, everything. Mindset is very very important as it relates to your being on this planet. Thus, simply by the way we think can direct our lives in opposite directions. Instead of feeling in business or feeling in life until you want to succeed, many of us won't even try. Look at um, Sir Edison. He tried 1,000 times. Oh my goodness. 1,000 times. Which means if he was to try once per day to get that light bulb to work, then you're talking about more than a year. Guys, if you're just 65 days, make one year. So therefore, it took more than two years because, you know, it's 365 days make a year. And I'm sure that he's testing this thing. He doesn't feel one time a day. He maybe feel, you know, to get the thing going and one of you and putting everything together. He maybe try once every two years, three years, maybe once a week when he maybe just started. So most definitely, it took more than or approximately in that, um, you know, about a year or two, at least, right? But he tried and tried and feel and feel, get up, brush off, and tried again. Now, most of us won't even bother. You know, um, there is no failure, only feedback. Look at it that way. So when you try something and it never works, look at it as a feedback, not as a failure. Look at it as a feedback. You are giving yourself a feedback. And that feedback is that this and this with this and that and this and this don't work. Don't need to try it again. So therefore, that is your feedback, not your failure. However, those with a fixed mindset will avoid failure at all costs. But failure is a part of life. Because they, they see it as a reflection of their insecurity. It is important to know that everyone has a fixed mindset in certain areas, but a different type of mindset work on a spectrum. One person could have a strong positive mindset, but a poor money mindset. Another might have a millionaire, but a carry a ton of fear and worry around with them. So, it is good that you have a positive mindset in this area, but in, in another area, it's failure, and it's merely because of fear. And so, just because someone looks accomplished doesn't mean that they are happy and fulfilled. It's all about balance and perspective. Let us have the balance that we need to go through life and to go through our passive. So, there are many types of mindset, many types. 
we're just going to look at a, a few um, of them tonight or uh, this evening. The, the first one we want to look at is the growth mindset. The growth mindset. The growth mindset is possible the queen of them all. That's because each mindset either empowers growth or keep a person fixed or stuck. So, specifically, people with a growth mindset are constant learners. They believe they can improve their intelligence through effort and feedback. Let us improve. This is where the brain grows new neutral connections that change the way they think and behave. The opposite of growth mindset is fixed mindset. These individuals think they have to get everything perfect the first, first time that they try. And if they don't get it right the first time that they try, it's a failure, and they finish, give up, leave it alone. You know, can't bother. They, they are, they are non-learners because they don't believe they can change. So it's all about fear, a lot of fear, a lot of fear. And that was a growth mindset. The growth mindset needs to be coupled with a positive mindset. That's number two. Positive mindset. People with a positive mindset have an optimistic outlook on life. Seeing the good in any situation. And that, as you know, comes from uh, Mr. Ashmufar himself. Look at the positive instead of the negative. The hallmark of this mindset is trusting oneself and trusting others. And yes, others will take advantage, but only the positive coupled with love that will prosper eventually. It's not about being ignorant of life's struggle, but the ability to see the positive side of negative situations. Even when they are faced with adversity, they remain hopeful, believing a positive outcome must be possible. And yes, a positive outcome must and will be positive, will be possible. Because good always overcome bad. Always. At the end. It might look like it's a long struggle. And you know, you're going through a long struggle. But there is always light at the end of that dark dark corner. The opposite is a negative mindset. Its characteristics and pessimistic outlook is focused on the worst case scenario. A pessimistic mindset is often learned response common in people with learned helplessness. This condition is best described in the story about the baby elephant tried tied to a peg in the ground. The baby elephant tries to break free, but it's, it isn't strong enough and eventually gives up. Even when the elephant is older and stronger, he remains stuck 
because he has learned from a young age that it isn't possible to break free. I want you to break free and you're not breaking free because, because you believe that how you were grown and your belief system that is passed on to us while we were in our infancy stage. A lot of people have not broken free from that or from those, as it were, generation curse, pessimism that has been plaguing the family for years. The third mindset is money mindset. The money mindset centers around the accumulation of wealth through assets. People with this mindset make strategic investment and focus on spending money wisely. In the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, the author, which is Robert Kosaki, which we have been hammering in most of our presentations, one of, our, one of the good books to read, explains this mindset very well. Robert explores the difference between rich people and poor people by this little boy's two dad, his biological dad, which was the poor dad, and his best friend dad, which was the rich dad. In a nutshell, rich people make their money work for them and acquire assets. Because poor people and middle class work for money and acquire liabilities. They think they are assets, but unfortunately, they are liabilities. The opposite of a money mindset is financial neglect. And that is why a lot of people do not have a budget. And I think Queen Miriam and King Dr. Um, John and um, King Dr. Dion and, and, and some others that deals merely with this financial aspect of money management has hammered that a lot. The failure to seek ways to increase their income. I guess a lot of people do that by having four, five, six jobs. And, um, you know, we always talk about Mamadou, King Mamadou. But anyway, <laughs> that's, that's the next thing. But let us let our money work for us. Four, abundance mindset. The abundance mindset is where people with an abundance mindset have a belief that they, there is always enough to go around. And that is where Ashley Fari want all of our mindset to be. That God has created abundance. Yes, unfortunately, a few people is holding it. But soon and very soon, a lot of us is going to break free. This includes things such as health, love, money, time, and focus. Adopting this mindset means recognizing these aspects arise intentionally, not externally. 
they don't really, really, they, they don't rely on a relationship to feel love or need a million dollars to feel rich. Instead, they focus on what they do have and feel a sense of prosperity coming from within. And I think we, we, we talk about uh, two gentlemen, one named John and one named um, James. Uh, James get a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, and at the end of the year, John ends up with zero, and maybe even in red, with a hundred and fifty thousand dollars income. But John. makes only 50,000, only 50K a year. So at the end of the year, he ends up with twenty-five to $30,000 in assets, in liquid. So, that is the abundance mindset and five and i think queen miriam dealt with this one last year in in you know the whole month of, of last month sorry last month the whole month of of um of march was gratitude a mindset of gratitude the gratitude mindset is closely related to the abundance mindset. People with this mental attitude are att attractive of what they already have instead of, sorry, they are appreciative, appreciative of what they already have instead of worrying about what's missing. Let me say that again. Let me read that again. The gratitude mindset is closely related to the abundance mindset. People with this mental attitude are appreciative of what they already have instead of worrying about what is missing or what they don't have. That is the gratitude mindset and this mindset try to stay grounded and realize that everything happens in the present moment it's fine to dream about a better life but the focus is on loving the process instead of escaping the pain of this satisfaction. Let me say that again. That is very important. And this is where we are in our passive. It's fine to dream about a better life. But the focus is on loving the process instead of escaping the pain of dissatisfaction. The opposite of gratitude mindset is the sense of never feeling satisfied with oneself or their abilities. They often have high expectation, nothing is wrong with having high expectation, which can leave them feeling ungrateful and unfulfilled. So, try not to feel ungrateful. Look at what you have. First of all, you have the breath of life. You have a roof over your head. 
या वो आ जाओ so people who have clean drinking water so if you have clean drinking water be grateful that you have clean clean drinking water and no worry about not having lemonade don't worry about that you have clean drinking water be grateful for that I thank you very much. And so, let me just go over those five. There are a few more. Maybe next time we will look at those others. So, first and foremost, the growth mindset. Then you have the positive mindset, money mindset, abundance mindset, and gratitude mindset let us recognize that all these mindset promotes a good healthy lifestyle so mindset the right mindset is very good to have for this life that we are living in i thank you very much I will really appreciate that you took the time out to listen to today's mindset. Wonderful. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And um, well, quickly before we go over to any to the next presentation, is there any comments on the mindset? This is that you teach in All right. Yes. Go ahead. Queen Dr. Tony Shai Ford. Welcome, welcome, wonderful. Thank you very much, Queen Dr. T. Uh, first lady, Queen Dr. Benny. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mary, I want to take this question to so really thank you. But before I do that, I just want to thank our heaven and for bringing you here. Yeah. Uh, we do understand that our friend Jacqueline was not available, but he decided to say he cannot allow this mindset to go without saying something. And we want to really thank you for standing up. Um, we appreciate you and we love you. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much, First Lady Queen Dr. Benny. All right, so yes. no more hands. So we are going to go over to the next presentation. And of course, this presentation is based on requests from the man with the plan with the herbs and most definitely it's, it's a gentle soul uh, a loving individual a person that cares a lot about people and, and he, he, he focuses on the healthy mindset healthy mindset and of course this is none other than king joseph so without any further ado we will now turn the mic over to our presenter our next second and final presenter which is
King Joseph. And he's going to talk to us about Bay Leaf. Bay Leaf. Over to you, King Joseph. Thank you, Dr. Uh, thank you, Dr. Patience, and thank you to all the leaders. Um, just as you said, God gave us abundance of everything. He gave us clean water, He gave us food, He gave us the bodies that we have. Sometimes we don't know why we have to learn from that. We have to return back to Him. So, what we are presenting here is for us to check the reason why it's not scientifically proven, and it's what we have to tell you because you have to make your own findings, help with your doctor, provide doctors before you go into anything. Um, I am going to break up the presentation. Just want to share my screen. Do you have to see? Are you seeing? Yes, we can see. Yes, sir. Okay. So we want to talk about Bailey's today. Mm. And uh, We we'll we'll see it is green. So everything that is green is useful. Not all. You have to be careful what is green. Um, leaves I have mostly used for Nutritional purposes just like fruits, nuts, seeds, leaves, and more of preparing the food to be stored in the seeds that will be used by the by the uh, uh, the plant when it is sown in the soil. So when when the leaves are there, they are cooking the food that is stored in the seed, and when we take the seed and plant it, it gives up that food to let that plant have life. And God created us, he didn't give us the possibility of getting our own from the ground. We don't have roots, we have to get it from the leaves and from the plants, and that is the plants, the seeds, and the nuts. So let us go ahead with the day. We find the green day leaves that goes at the fresh, and then we have the dry day leaves. We can use either of the two, depending on where you are. If you can get the fresh, that's good. If you have the dry, that's good. We 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 actually no more of the drug than the, the fresh. Um, you find a lot of restaurants and even in our kitchens where you do things like spaghetti, like uh, fried rice and all that, you find the bay leaf and they take it out, it gives the flavor, it gives all what you need and then they take it out when they are eating. Yes, one. Mm -hmm. 
So what is the day length? Given if also known as lore, is a spice commonly used to flavor soups and meat dishes for its for its light herbal flavor. It, it has a lot of flavor and it gives flavor to all the soups that we cook, stews and uh, meat, chicken, fish. When we use uh, uh, bay leaf, it gives good flavor to it. It is sometimes sold in stores in the powder or as a fresh leaf, but it is most often found as a dry whole leaf. Um, the last time I said that when you powder any leaf or even the nuts, you powder it, it starts losing its strength. So I do not actually advise people to buy the powder on. But now I think you should buy the whole leaf. If you want to powder it yourself, you can do it. So different uh, different variations of bay leaf. Um, that is the section that we should take very seriously because we have a lot of variation of bay leaf and we actually do not know which one to buy. And uh, when we go to the market, we, we ask for bay leaf, they just give it to us, we buy it. Um, you have the Cali California bay leaf, you have the Indian bay leaf, you have the Indonesian bay leaf, you have the Mexican bay leaf, you have the West Indian, Indian bay leaf. But the one that is very useful is the Turkish bay leaf, so, which is called the Lurius nobilis. So if you go to the market to buy the bay leaf, you should take note of that. Why is bay leaf continue? The herb commonly known as the bay leaf can, can come from a variety of different trees, as I have just informed you. One of the more widely known sources is the bay laurel tree. That is the nobilis tree. That is the one that is very good for you to use. Each variety of bay leaf has a slightly different taste. Bay leaves may be used fresh, dried, or ground, or whole. Fresh bay leaves may also be found in the product section of some markets. Since fresh bay leaves don't last long, they are not uh, they are not as common as the dried ones. So it's very difficult, except you go to uh, an area where the the farmer is producing it and bringing it directly to to the market. Bay leaves should not be uh, consumed whole. You cannot take that bay leaf and uh, Tear it or chew it, uh, the leaf uh, remains intact and cannot be digested. So, if you take it into your system, uh, you, it will, that is the side effect that you have. It will give you wounds. It is not good to be used. That's why you find that you always boil it and take it out. It may become lodged in the throat or cause damage into the intestine tract. So we should take that note. Chopped or ground bay leaves are likely safe when consumed in amounts typically found in food. It is also possibly safe when taken medic medic medicinally for short periods of time. Just like I said last time with the, uh, with the drink that I showed you from uh, uh, Negro, Therefore, the hibiscus and the cloth, the, the, the cloth, um, the bay leaf, when I, when, when I prepare it, I use it, I use it for two weeks, I stay away from it, then I come back after two weeks. I, I allow my body to send out that before I bring it. Same thing with bay leaf. You don't have to take it continuously. You have to take it, stop, and then continue. 
traditional facts, mainly if obey plural is a, a culinary help obtained from the small overgreen tree, glorious novice. This plant is native to the Mediterranean region and enjoys widespread cultivation in the warm climate of the it's the most important that we can look for. Um, in ancient times, Bellor had decorative uses as a symbol for prosperity, fame, and victory, and possessed protective powers, and thus was planted near homes to prevent lightning strikes. Well, I don't want to go into that because this is coming like a, some sort of uh, spiritual. I just, I, I just put that up because I know if you go to do your own findings, you will find it. Um, uh, I know I visited a, a country in West Africa sometimes. When I entered the house, they had uh, lemon all over, cake all over. I didn't understand it. I saw one, I saw a, a table knife of one and 30 and the people were all surprised that I picked it. But when I found out, they told me, oh, they put it there for it to drive away uh, uh, spirits or whatever. Uh, this is almost the same thing. I'm not into that one. I just want to give you the one that will help us. So as a culinary herb, it flavors numerous cuisines of Turkey, Indian, Italy, and France. It is common, it is common uh, component in the French uh, uh, mixture of herbs, bouquet garni, and is added to many dishes during cooking. So if you are in Europe, you go to Italy, you go to France, you go to all of those places. But anyway, you know, when you go to Europe, France, Italy, Spain, and so forth, they eat a lot of steak that you send it. Uh, and, um, you will find that they use very a lot. So health benefits. It provides antioxidants. This is why I think we should take serious note about. It provides antioxidants. Many leaves have been uh, studied for their antioxidant properties. These properties help protect against oxidative stress caused by free radicals. The phytochemicals in, in bay leaf include flavonoids and uh, Chronocinite beans. Uh, that's a hard word. Uh, two, it may provide antibacterial and antimicrobial protection. Baby contains antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. These effects, these effects have been shown against staphylococcus. Orios, Gaphylococcus, Intermediates, Cabezia, Pneumonia, and all Echo, uh, uh, Coli, and all those things. So it is almost like, let me say, um, uh, it's an it's, it's a antibiotic because it's it is antibacterial, antimicrobial. So it is a natural antibiotic. That's how I can put it. It may prevent against some cancers, especially um, the colon cancers, breast cancers, and so forth. So preliminary research suggests that extracts from bay leaves may help prevent early events in uh, colorectal uh, cancers. Bay leaf may inhibit cancer cells grown in breast cancer, uh, in breast cancers and uh, leukemia. So uh, we find 
the colon cancer, we have the breast cancer, and the cornea. That is very good. That is where mainly it can work very well. Health benefits continue number four, immune system health. Daily is a good source of vitamin A, vitamin B6, and vitamin C. These vitamins are, are all known to support a healthy immune system. Number five, digestive aid. Daily tea can help uh, ease boots of upset stomach. The tea is also very uh, ar aromatic, which can help relieve digestive issues as well as sinus uh, pressures or stuffy nose. <clears throat> daily uses of daily leaf and its oil in traditional and uh, folk me uh, uh, medicines have been documented. These include as treatment of respiratory disorders and infectious gastro gastrointestinal discomfort and irregularity, diarrhea and amoria, and as an emetic stimulant and diuretic to name just a few. So it is very useful for the digestive side. Uh, from the mouth right down. Peace, blessings, not only blessings, a lot of love to you. Control type 2 diabetes. There is limited carbs. How are you doing? In vain, therefore, less sugar. Evidence blessings, blessings. Suggest that daily benefits. Belief, belief. Type 2 diabetes, also known as. Diabetes malicious. I am blessed and fabulous to favor. It's believed that herbs such as baby can help control blood sugar and, and fats in its blood spreads. So it's Atlanta. Those who have uh, diabetes, you can use it quite like a music different to turn down the sugar. She is here now. Oh, why you are you it's continue? Nice. So, why are you coming from the ear to work on the train? Some research shows that yeah. injection. That's a lot of work. Reduce blood cholesterol. It's a lot of work. Blood cholesterol. That's a lot of work. You know, when we go to the hospital, they always check blood cholesterol, especially. Yeah. Go to the ear to work on the train. But it contributes to mostly bone. Mouth and tired health. Is on That's a lot of work to go at the airport with a train. Magnesium is responsible for numerous functions like yeah. okay. muscles and bones, among others. All right, if you say so. I, I tried it one time, but I tell you it was, it was a idea. Immune function, sedation, and the reproduction of other. So, daily, that's number nine, it's in the treatment of respiratory oh, events. So the right. aroma of daily is the spread as one seed. One seed of Joseph, 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 Joseph talking about daily. And Kai. So when Joseph talking about daily, a scent of metal. And the is barely and its flavor is considered astringent and vitamins. The essential oil from oh, okay, all right. is used for good to see you. Health. Good to see you again, Veronica. The tea is also very aromatic, which can help wonderful sinus blessings, blessings, stomach. lick a bit. And then we'll go to the nutritional facts of daily. Um, nutritional fact, bay leaf is a good source of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B6, calcium, iron, and magnesium. A crumble teaspoon of bay leaf will give, give us 5.5 calories. It also has protein. 0.1 grams, 
fat 0.1 grams carbohydrates 1.3 grams so bay leaves also contain small amounts of mini vitamins and the minerals and the most prevalent are the calcium the copper iron magnesium and manganese Uh, yes, we talked we talk of manganese already. He also has vitamin A, he has vitamin D6, he has vitamin C, he has rubyphalic fatin, riboflavin, and zinc. So, things to remember belief is relatively high in iron, which 0 0.8 milligrams per tablespoon. Iron is an essential mineral. The type of iron in bay leaf is the plant form of iron, which is a uh, non hem iron. Uh, consuming uh, foods that are rich in vitamin C can help this iron, which is in bay leaf, to be absorbed into your system. Bay leaf is a nutrition, uh, a nutritious herb that adds flavor without adding fat, sodium, or sugar. Bay leaf is low in calories, but high in iron, vitamin A and magnesium. So storage and safety. Storage and security. Many people store bay leaf in their spice cabinet. However, some say that freezing bay leaf is the preferred way of storing uh, this herb. Many chefs recommend storing bay leaves in the freezer because the leaves retain more flavor when frozen than they are when they store them in a cold, dry space which is just what I was saying. It also loses its flavor when it is stored there. And then the way of preparation, you can add bay leaf or dry whole bay leaf to many savory dishes during uh, simmering. However, many cooks feel that ground bay leaf are too strong and prefer to use a whole leaf when cooking then discard the leaf before selling. So this is the bay leaf. I have a video to it. I hope, okay, I have a video to it and uh, it will give you more information to what, what that has given. And uh, I would want you to listen to it. Toxins from the body, helping not only the gastrointestinal system, but your kidneys as well. 
In 2014 study showed that bay leaf can also help with kidney stones by reducing the amount of the evil bacteria known as urease. Respiratory benefits. Speaking of bacteria, according to the biological and pharmaceutical bulletin, bay leaves have great antibacterial properties, which make it ideal for health with coughs and colds. Bay leaves primary respiratory benefits are believed to be strongest when using it as a focus for cell. Bay leaf tea helps with sweating. Is this good? Going to break a fever? Just at least since you get a fever. Air health. Dandruff for dry skin got you down. While there is a lack of scientific evidence for this, there is a good amount of anecdotal evidence asserting that bay leaf tea can help with dry skin, or more specifically, dandruff. A plenty of way of doing this is going to make some bay leaf tea, but this time, don't add anything else to it. Since so cold, you'll then rub the tea into your scalp once you're done shampooing, keeping that scalp healthy and avoiding dandruff. Antimicrobial and antioxidant properties. Bay leaf contains about 80 helpful compounds for your health. Don't mind all the scientific names, they're great for you. One study conducted at North Carolina AMT University showed how bay leaf is helpful against the dreaded salmonella and E. coli. Its massive antioxidants are also helpful for fighting off diseases and boosting your immune system. Anti inflammatory benefits. Bay leaves contain a unique phytonutrient called parthenolide. Doing the line, people can introduce inflammation from sore joints or arthritis. But you can get benefit by drinking bay leaf tea. You can be even more effective by applying it directly to the affected area. Your health. Bay leaves contain rutin, which strengthens capillary walls in the heart and in your limbs. It also has caffeine acid, which can help eliminate bad cholesterol from your body. No cholesterol, that's how bad cholesterol bad. A study published in Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition found that one of the three grams of bay leaves consumed daily was associated with 26% of heart cholesterol levels. Research also indicates that bay leaf tea may not be the aforementioned bitterly antioxidants are also great for your heart health, lowering risk of heart disease, strokes, anxiety, and stress benefits. Around the global is most often associated with herbs like cilantro, chocolate, and basil. This compound has lower stress hormones. Bitterly leaves have little more to it's currently believed that the strongest way to get the benefits of little oil is by using it as aromatherapy. Not really deep, they're like an alpha too. Diabetes benefits. Research showed that taking one of the three grams of daily today not only can help with cholesterol levels, but blood sugar levels too. At the moment, the more research needed to be done. All that the researchers want to say right now is that daily tea can help reduce the risk factors. Type 2 diabetes. Your biologist doesn't necessarily stop it. Your genes track some cancer benefits. There is some compelling research that shows how feeling can help fight against breast cancer. So far, studies have shown how it is helpful at killing cancer cells by eating with apocalypses. In addition, research published in Nutrition and Cancer suggests that mainly cancer is what helps. Or bay benefits. history.
birds of all ranks in a family. There is a chance you're likely to be allergic to bay leaves as well. Bay leaves may also slow down your central nervous system. So if you're going in for a surgery, it's suggested not to have a bay leaf or bay leaf tea before doing so, as it can mess with the anesthesia or other medications. Beyond that, a bay leaf as a tea is considered very safe when taken in normal notes. If you want to swallow the whole leaf, though, that's another story. As bay leaves tend to stay intact in your digestive system and can become lodged in or even break the lining of your throat or intestines. What do you know? I've been eating spaghetti for decades, and then you know, that's the reason I'm supposed to remove my bay leaves from the spaghetti. Oh, there you go. Or you know. Have you tried bay leaf tea before? If so, do you mix it with anything to make it more palatable? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about the benefits of other teas, then watch either of these fine videos right here. Please, be kind. Take care of each other. So, get a nice tasty tea. You certainly do. That's the other day. In the video, this goes to is it for maybe I think we've gotten enough already. We see if we look for things, we go looking for things left and right, where else we have them at our fingertips. The leaves, the fruits, the nuts that God provided for us. Thank you for the moment. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, um, the, the areas where they sell whole food and we ask for it, they might have the different varieties, but we will have them. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Excellent presentation. Thank you so much for bringing this information. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Our, our preferably um, Queen Dr. T, uh, in what I do uh, is in my driving, I, you know, I, and you go to some areas, some kind of a rural areas, you'd find some people sit down, you know, or a person or a family sit down on the side of the road. And um, and selling some mangoes or this or that melon or pineapple or whatever they're selling some some fruits and and vegetable and something on the side of the road. Those, you know, is kind of what is the local growers or local small farmers. And those, from, when I see them, those are the ones that I enjoy buying from. Um, you know, because most of the time they are, well, of course, they are trying to support their family. Uh, but favorable to me, um, these people don't use fur and a whole lot of, you know, spray a whole lot of things on them, on them um, produce. Right, because they, you know they don't have the money to, to, to do that in the first place. Um, and I find that those fruits and vegetables actually taste better when you buy it from those like roadside people, really and truly. So in your driving, kind of look for them. Kind of look for them. No, normally they the one from Germany. Okay. In certain towns, you have a uh, um, store farm for Turkish. You can find out from there. Okay. And, and then when you store it, you talk about storing it. Now, when you buy it and you use it for the first time, do you automatically just put it in the freezer and like in a freezer bag? Yeah. Is that what you use it once. When you use it once, you can't eat it. 
they could just make if you buy it in the parking and you get one and use it, the rest will be stored in the freezer. But you can use the one over again, you said you can use that one over again. No, you use it once. Okay, okay. All right. Now, how long was the freezer like? How long did it stay in the freezer before you have to get rid of it? Um, well, I all I, well, I don't know for how long the the the, the leaf has remained in the shop. Well, just dry it, it will be and it can't. I will just dry it and it will be dry 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 the leaf for the teeth, is that how you do that? If you are not keeping it for long, if you have the packet and you want to keep your teeth, for example, I I, I made tea out of daily today with the with a with a with a clove. Um if I have to go one week, I'll not keep it in the freezer, I'll keep it where I can use it. But if it has to stay for long, you keep it in the freezer. Okay, so if I keep it where I can use it, I can use it, I can leave it outside. Of the, of the refrigerator and just store it where I keep my other spices and stuff, right? Yes. Okay. All right. That's what I want to find out. Okay. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, very, very much. Is there any hands? No, Dr. David, I haven't seen any hands raised okay. yet. Hopefully somebody will. But uh, if not, uh, I'll say something. All right. Go ahead, First Lady Queen, Dr. Benny. <laughs> well, brother, uh, I would say um, excellent, excellent presentation. Uh, I did not really know the importance of bay leaf. Uh, I was just trying to find out if uh, by utilizing this bay leaf, I, I found that you can just just put it in the water, right? And then let, I, I mean, I just have to like warm it in the water and drink like tea, isn't it, brother Joseph? In boiled water, just like in boiled water for tea, and you cook it inside, leave it for for it to simmer, and then you drink it. Does it matter to time? You can add lime or lemon to it. Um, I use the uh, clove. I add clove instead of lemon because very good as a vitamin C. So we don't have to put sugar, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, as I usually say, when you cook sugar or, or honey, I, I would not say you should not do it to your taste. I, I don't because I want the flavor from the plant itself. I don't have anything to eat. I need to have the flavor of the plant. But if you have to sweeten it, uh, you can use some small honey, that's fine. I will not talk of sugar, not sugar. Is it a must? I'm not seeing my face, but is it a must that you have to go to I mean, to purchase organic? Uh, can I just go to Giant and purchase a baby? As I say, as you follow the presentation, you should look for the lower uh, uh, baby. Don't buy. Just in a daily, they will give you the flavor, the flavor that you need. But um, as you also saw in the video, some of them are, are, are not very good for the system. But but it depends the quantity that you are using. If you just want to take it for flavor, um, that that is doable. We we'll give you the one that is that is healthy for you.
Jack out you. Yes, thank you so much, Brother. I appreciate it. You're welcome. For the presentation. Hopefully, you'll come back with something next week. <laughs> Every time you ask this to bring something else because you are more. Yeah, there are a good number of things, but we should allow some other to present. I'll come up with some other things that Dr. Derry will create time. There are a good number of them. Brother, there's always time for you on Thursdays if we don't have uh, Dr. Yeah. Lee to come. Isn't it, Dr. Derry? Whenever. Whoever wants to come, that's fine. If not, we need to just get prepared. Anyway, Dr. Derry, I'm just pushing him already. Yeah. Not, not this week, but this yeah. week. I have, yeah. have Passover coming up to go through that first. No problem, bro. But we want to appreciate you. Thank you so much for the presentation. You're welcome. Dr. Derek. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Well, um, we do want to thank everyone um, for the, the presentation, uh, especially King. Joseph, and at this time, we just want King Joseph to give his last final comment. Okay, um, for the final comment, as I said, we, we find that our system needs a lot of vegetables, and all the vegetables that are, are available for us are very useful. Um, as I said, we don't have roots that we minerals and all the, 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 the same food from the ground. We have to get it from the plants that God provided for us. He told us to eat the nuts, he told us to eat the seeds, he told us to eat the leaves, and even the, the tubers and the, 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 the sometimes the seeds. So let's not uh, look at um, the plants and think that they are not uh, what we can eat or we, 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 we overlook them because uh, if man has acted on those plants, they have changed. It is not the same that God provided. Let us take the, the vegetables that we have. If you are eating, make sure you have vegetables throughout. Uh, in the morning, in the, you are meal in the afternoon, in the evening, you have vegetables. That is what cleans the system and allows regulation in our system so that we shouldn't have pain. We should cook vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, fast in our lives. Thank you so much. Hi, wonderful. Thank you very much, King Joseph. Really appreciate it. And um, to all our YouTube listeners, uh, viewers, yeah, we want to thank you for joining us um, today. Really appreciate it. And, and so, therefore, um, we just want to thank you for coming and be with us on Sunday with the Dream Team at 12.45 Eastern Daylight Time. That's 12.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, so just join us Sunday afternoon. Uh, we, are, we will be having um, a lovely presentation. And of course, the mindset, very important. The mindset is very, very important. And of course, come next week, Monday, we have Mindset Monday, and next week, Tuesday, you have, we have deep dive on Thursday. We have deep dive again. Uh, so we are here. So um, thank you all very much. Really appreciate our, especially to our YouTube viewers. Walk good, take care, and remember to love. Love each other. Thank you.